All right, folks, we are trying out Witching Stone today. I'm very, very excited for this one for a couple of reasons. Um, the first one being that it is a roguelike game that uses match three puzzles as its foundation. So that's going to be the mechanic that you use to gather mana or attack the enemy, that type of thing. I've played a lot of match three games in my life, a lot of them on mobile. Uh, the first one that really created the addiction was Puzzle Quest. So this was a uh, puzzle RPG where you do match three and you attack in the same way. You match the gems, the same colors, you gather mana and you attack based on that. And if anyone has also played uh, Gems of War, which is on mobile and Steam, I played it on mobile. I've spent too many hours, more than I like to admit, playing that game. And it was a really big ad addiction for me and I had to quit because it was just really taking over a lot of time in my day. So I used to play Gems of War a lot. This is giving me those vibes a little bit and I'm really, really excited to jump into a roguelike game with the match three mechanic. So let's take a look here. Witching Stone. Let's jump into it. New game. Multiple characters. For now, we only have the green haired mage available. There is a blue haired or a more of a ghost summoner, maybe? She's a summoner. Looks like that to me. And we have a melee character as well, but we are not able to play as her for now. So let's play as Gwen. Starting spells are Spark and Water Shield. Very cool. What is this all about? Maybe the steps for starting? Never mind. Combat encounters. Touching a combat encounter will start a battle. You can tell the difficulty in advance, easy, medium, hard. Got it. Boss is looking like this. Your goal is to become strong enough to defeat the boss to move to the next act. Powering up. All other events on the map are upgrades. Get stronger before fighting harder encounters. We have a spell with the blue badge, which is a trinket most likely, uh, with the green. Blessing is an arrow. Shop is an acorn, <laughs> which requires acorns to buy stuff. That's amazing. Hey, Abram. And then we have resting sites. We got it. Okay, so we want to go for the easy boys first, yeah? So let's traverse over here and go to the easy boy. So we are fighting a little rackin. A little rackin. Drawing paths in combat, your only direct, your only direct interaction, your only direct interaction is drawing a path on the stone grid and hitting go. Okay, your path must travel through adjacent cells, and its length is limited to your mana. Mana generates regenerates after each round. Interesting. Casting spells. To cast spells, your path must touch each stone in the sequence. It does not need to be consecutive, but it must be in order, left to right. So we have to go red, yellow, yellow. Interesting. So it's not just collecting the mana, it, you have to go in the sequence. Interesting. I do like that mechanic, actually. So you have to go... So we have five mana. It is possible to cast both spells at the same time, but it's not likely unless you have the perfect arrangement. Water shield will block two. He's hitting me for two and he's doing nothing at the same time. Add two jammers. Oh, I see, he's adding jammers. So I can block the attack for sure. I can't get two yellows. I'd rather just attack him. Actually, no, I, I wouldn't. So we can go from red. Oh, I can cast all of it. Are we doing all of it? Let's go. Water shield. And we attacked. I guess you can do all of it. You can have everything you want. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it again. Enemy intent. The status is above enemy. Yep, we've seen this in deck builders and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure um, I, I'll understand what it means. The turn always follows yours from left to right, and this should help you inform your choices. Enemies do a lot of different actions, including putting status effects on you, your stone board, and spells. Putting cursor over them gives you more information. Makes a lot of sense. So we're going to go for another double cast right there. Sign me up. Sign me up, baby. Smack him up. NP. Really easy. Uh, yeah, this, this doesn't look so great on the vertical stream. I'm sorry, everybody, but it is a nice game so far. So let's pick up a new spell. So we have Chaos Bolt. We have to replace something or restore three. Decay, value negative one, this fight after cast. Interesting. So rejuvenation will slowly decay. 
Flux. Flux is random. Deal 1 to 8 damage and it is random. Cool. I'm going to take the Chaos Bolt. Do we have three spells now? I think I'm going to go for the Easy Boy again. Oh, I have up to four, I believe. Maybe more. We'll see. So I can do Water Shield plus the Spark. How do I get more mana so I can do more stuff? Oh wait, no, I can't do that. Never mind. Cancel, cancel. Hmm. Maybe I'll do this and then Chaos Bolt. All right, let's go. We got Water Shield, Chaos Bolt on the first, which is dead. And I took no damage, amazing. He's doing two attack again, but if I just kill him, there's no problem. Just go ahead and sign me up for that. GG. All right, sick, bro. I got two acorns. Let's go for a treasure chest. And we have a badge. Apply one block. Requires defensive spell. Damage taken is reduced. So I, I assume what it means is every time I get block, I apply an additional block. Add keywords, repeat. Spell can be entered multiple times a turn. That sounds really good. <laughs> I'm gonna take the repeat. So if we have enough mana. Oh, wait, you apply the badge to your spell. In your spell book, drag badges onto spells to add effects. Experiment to create new abilities. Holy crap, that's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Badges are powerful, but can be double-edged. So make sure you're comfortable with your setup. To help prevent mishaps, some badges are restricted to certain spell types. Sometimes badge order matters. They're evaluated from left to right. Man, that adds a lot of dimension to this, and I really enjoy it. What's happening here? So we have the repeat. I honestly think the repeat should go onto our water shield. I assume we can move them around, which is great. So yeah, we have max four spells. They can have badges to be even stronger. This is looking great, guys. Extra cast is always good. Yeah, I'm thinking like, I'm putting it on the water shield because if there is an enemy that just like does a huge wallop, we're gonna build up that that shield and um, just hopefully a lot of shields can be built in one turn and block whatever big wallop that they're gonna do to us. So he's doing two damage. We can set ourselves up for a block like that. Damn it, I can't cast a, a secondary though. Cancel? How do I cancel? Do I just start drawing again? Okay, so right click will cancel. So if I go... I can do spark like... One, two, three, four, five, shoot. One, two... Nope, that's not right. Okay, I'm just gonna do a chaos bolt and hopefully it will kill him. Please be... No, it won't kill him because he has nine anyways. Two damage, come on, girl. You can do better than that. Let's see. He's doing three damage this time. I have 20 HP, he has seven health. A Chaos Bolt could possibly kill, but I, I can't cast it easy. So I'm gonna go for a Spark, just because it's convenient to cast. Okay. So I got hit a little bit. He's gonna die from a spark. So let's just hit him up with a spark. Let's go, baby. All right, on to another spell. Our fourth spell is gonna be taken up with Bramble Skin. Damage taken is reduced by three. On cast, cannot be cast again for two turns. Whenever hit, return two damage to the attacker, but spiky or thorn is the more common term for it, is lost at the start of turn. I don't like that thorn is depleting like that. That's a little bit too temporary for my liking, but defensive plus offensive at the same time is kind of nice to have. 
Earthquake hits all targets, deal two damage, plus one damage per enemy, max five, barrage. Hits all enemies, wow. It takes a lot of mana. Um, I think the smart thing to do is have spells that use the same type of mana. And I don't really have that going on. I, I think I'm going to go with Bramble Skin here. We'll see how that goes. All right, our, another medium character here, or enemy. Let's test out this theory. So if I go red, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it shares the mana. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I have to defend myself. Burning fades over time. Adds one to one fire to the stones. Fades over time. When cleared, deal damage to yourself whenever you clear it. Interesting. So I definitely want a water shield. Water shield it up. We can go like this and do an attack at the same time. I would love to get more mana so that I can like traverse more spaces, you know? Of course you would want that. All right, so we have a flame on here. I think it's lasting for three turns. That's a counter there, I assume. They're doing three damage. So I would love to do a Bramble Skin. Bramble skin, bramble skin. Bramble me up. That's enough shield. I have two more mana, but I can't really do anything with it. Might as well just do a shield. Why not? Defensive turn, let's go. So you're hitting me twice, you should die from the thorn. You're dead. You're dead from the thorn. Sick. So you froze something. Frozen ink. Inaccessible, clear adjacent to remove. Interesting. Well, my friend, you're gonna get a spark right to the face, which will kill you. What? I didn't do the spark? Why no spark? There's a spark, you're dead. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good job, Gwen. What's Puyo? What's Puyo? Is that another game? Select an activity. Heal 30% of maximum health. I guess I'll take it. I would have taken a different action because I'm only missing one HP. Do I, can I skip the shop? I can. <laughs> Puyo Puyo. Puyo Puyo. Is that another game? Looks like it. Okay, so I have another badge. Add one to stones. When cleared, apply power infused. Increase the power by one on one of your stones. Apply spiky on a defensive spell. Interesting. Well, yeah, we're gonna take that spiky and we're gonna put it on our water shield because this one's easier to cast and we can do it multiple times. So we're gonna do that, and it's sick. It's from the 90s. Gotcha, let's see what the shop is. Hey, squirrel friend. Oh, damn, for real squirrel friend. Oh, this is jamming. Hell yeah. Okay, let's see, fish spike. Deal four, apply one weakness, long shot, which is hits the rear target. Hits a random target with air blast. Feed backer, deal five, add two jammers. I don't like these, my squirrel friend. Deal negative two. What? Oh, it's negative two, but it hits all targets. Hey, Presto! Which one is tempting, Kentu? Um, I wouldn't say it's like Backpack Hero, no. It's more like, um, I would say, did you watch me play Cube Hero? It's kind of like that, it's puzzle RPG. Puzzle is the way that you, the puzzle is the way that you attack. You'll see in a second. Fish Spike? I don't really like Fish Spike. I don't like here hitting the rear target, but it probably will become important at some point. The mana mix is actually really good. The mana mix is good because like, we can do Bramble, we can do uh, Water Shield with those 
mana, with that type of mana. So you know what? Maybe we take away f Chaos Bolt for Fish Spike. You're right. I'm going to consider it. Let me look at everything else. Diamond. Damage plus 25. All values plus one. Proceed. Cannot pass other stones in cast sequence. What? I don't understand what this is. These are badges. Cannot pass other stones in cast sequence. So you want to put it at the end, but you get value plus one with all of everything. That sounds really hot and really hot, really good. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's true, Pestle. I agree with that. Top hat. Plus one. It's cruel. Hits target with the least health. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to take the fish spike and we're going to replace the chaos bolt here. And I think that we're going to be doing a lot of multicasts because of that. Let's go into our first hard battle here. All right, I'm going to I'm going to jam with the fish spike for sure. We're going to go bramble. Okay, so we can hit it up like this. Oh, wait. We have to get the second green for Bramble afterwards. Boom. 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 Oh, I wish I could get another green. I don't think that's good enough for me. Okay, hold on. L let him cook. Let him cook. Green. Red. Blue. Green. If only I could get another blue. It doesn't even matter. It's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just take a random. That's going to be the best I think I can do this turn. So we're catch, ca casting Fish Spike. We got the shield going. Bramble will do some damage to everybody. Sick, sick, sick. Full health still. We have to do much of the same. So Bramble Skin is priority. Let's just do Water Shield for even more spikes. Even more Thorn or, or whatever it's called. Why do I only have one? Uh, did I not do Bramble Skin? FML, I screwed up. You have been using non-matching elements. This says you cannot do that. You have been using non-matching elements. What do you mean? I'm so confused. Um, let me think. It's going to be hard to do a Bramble. We just have to kill this turn, I think. Ah, oh, crap. I'm going to take some damage, but that's okay. We do a Fish Spike, and we do a Spark, and that's going to be it. The Diamond Pristine thing, yeah. Um, so how do you think that works, Kensu? Like, how do you think that item works? Because the way that I think the Diamond would have worked is, let's just say it was in this purple spot right here, right? I was thinking, like, if, if I matched it like this, or if I was using it, it would stop the chain right there. You can no longer move and select more stones type of thing. So I was thinking, if I had that item and it worked that way, I would just put it at the end of the chain. But maybe I'm wrong about the description of it. Um, to answer your your question, Pressel, you have your max mana over here. My max mana is five right now, and so I can only chain five. And they don't have to match. It can be whatever you want. You just have to build the sequence to cast your spells over here. So I'm going to go red, yellow, yellow to make spark happen so that he can just go ahead and die. We lost some health. I am mad about it, but... Yo, give me more mana. Increase maximum health. No. Increase total spell book capacity. Wait, I can have another spell? After each turn, regenerate extra mana. I really think the mana is going to be more important. Yeah, you got it, Pressel. I hope I have six now. Damn it. I still start with five? What did I just choose as my upgrade then? Okay, so we got a lot of stuff happening here. You're gonna do fairy fire. That's a lot of stones with burning. And you're doing a decent amount of damage. But guess what, my boy? Get wrecked. Wait, I can do that better, I think. Okay, that's fine. 
Ah, crap. Okay, that's max mana. Let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, there is six, isn't there? No, there isn't. All right, let's just do the defensive route then. How did I do it again? Uh, green, blue, blue, green. Okay, let's just go with that. Regen. Uh, on regen, regen one extra suggests you can't select five every turn normally. Well, here's the thing. Now I have six. So I guess first turn is always five. And then regen, your additional regen will be stacked on top of that after the first turn. Now, with burning, I wonder if... I'm, I'm assuming as soon as I collect the stone, I'll take the damage from burning, which will not allow me to build a shield to block it, unfortunately. So I have eight, max eight already, and I just need the regen. I guess so. Yeah, I guess that's the way you can look at it. Um, I don't want to take this damage, but we need to do fish spike. We can take a water shield as well. And I have two more. What can I cast with this? Another water shield? No, I can't. Bramble skin is out of the question, and we don't have enough yellow. So I'm just going to clear some of the purple because we don't use it. That's a smart thing to do, right? Just clear some of the stuff that we don't use. Oh, you can... As soon as you collect the stones, you cast it. So I could possibly block the burning as long as I have the shield up before it. We'll see. Spellbook capacity seems strong. That's true, because if you just keep getting spells with the same mana usage, you can uh, multicast. But... I was like really, really headstrong about getting more mana. <laughs> so that's my bad. So that will kill the, the boar. The burning doesn't damage me right away, so I don't really care about that. Let's just take away some of this perp. You're baked? Oh, fans baked. I'm just kidding. I know that you meant to say you're back. So you have 10 health, do you? Very sick. Hit me up like this. Can I make it to that other blue? Okay, sick. Um, I'm not gonna block all the damage, but that is quite all right. Oh wait, I, I weaken her with the fish. I forgot that this reduces her, her damage. Amazing. Fish spike has just leveled up in my head. Um, I can kill you. Green, red. Ah, damn it. I maybe can't kill you. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go with this. Let's go. You're dead. I guess diversifying so that no mana is useless is a good idea too. But I think that I'm more of a... Just the way that I play games, I like to, like, commit to, like, a very s small subset of things and just focus on it. It may might be because of my small brain, but I personally think in this game, I would more go for if everything can use the same type of mana, that looks better to me. But let's go with... Begin combat with two extra mana. My goodness, that is tempting. Increased total spellbook capacity, though, does sound like a good idea overall, so let's go with that. With that. So let me look at my spellbook. Here's another slot, baby! Uh-huh. Let's go back. We got our first boss. I'm excited. Alright, so it's Poison Ivy from Batman. They're doing a bunch of thorn. I can block the thorn. Alright, we gotta bramble up. Uh, bramble me. Bramble me shivers. Should I just go defensive? We're gonna go. F we could have done fish spike here. Yep. Oh, one more, and I could have had another water shield, I think. Ah, oh, whatever. That's good. The music in this is amazing, by the way. Really great music. Lots of shield. Everything's safe. You got attack. What are you doing? Drosera. 
If on board at the end of the turn, you deal damage to yourself, destroy self this turn. Once per turn, after taking damage, add one dis Drosera to the board. So I have to I have to use those spaces so that I avoid three damage to myself. Interesting. I would like to bramble. Oh, this is on cooldown. Help! What's your cooldown? Just one turn, two turns. F. I forgot that this thing had a cooldown. It's two turns. Okay. Um. So my defensive capability is not going to be good unless I just cast that, which is not a good idea. Wait a minute, I can go like that. So we are gonna go with that and we're gonna cast a spark here. <laughs> Ord. Ord Pressel. Or would it be Ord Wrestle? Just remove the first letter of each. Okay, so I need to remove this, yeah? And you're hitting me for quite a bit. Bramble up. Let's go. Damn, you got a lot of HP. So you are doing three damage yet again. I'm gonna shield up. Maybe go for a... A fish spike would be great. But that is hard to do. Wait, no, I can go from this way. Durr. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I need to get rid of this purple. I need to get rid of this purple, bro. Okay, let's see. Forces you to use trash. Pretty much. Um, so she's just doing this Drosera thing again. I think I'm gonna use this turn. No, I should attack her. Get rid of some of this freaking purple, bro. I guess I will be open to picking up a purple spell. Hopefully it also uses some of the other colors too. That would be the uh, most optimal. Summon a Wither Rose in front. I would love to kill you before you do that, but I don't think I can. Um, maybe a Fish Spike? Wait, wait, wait. Fish Spike would require me to go... Boom. Boom. Can I get both of these? Yes, sir! Let's go. How the hell? Oh crap, I kept one of them on there, didn't I? F? F, 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 F. Um, um, um. So I definitely need to get rid of you. And you're doing one damage. The only defensive thing I can do is Bramble. So I can go do a straight line just to do Bramble. Doesn't kill the thing, but it'll have a little bit less HP. Oh, come on, stop doing that. Poison Ivy, why you do this to me? Do I fully recover after the battle? Because I'm willing to do more risky things if that is the case. But we shall see. So they're not attacking me. So let's do you, 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 you. I can't catch a green or a blue. All right, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of purple then. Let's go. You're dead. What? I thought I got rid of all that crap. I must be screwing up somehow. So she's summoning again. We have to hit you hard. Uh, spark is just as good as a fish spike, but fish spike seems more realistic. Get rid of some purple. Damn it. Okay. If we keep doing fish shot. Oh my god, that five though. Yikes, dude. So we got Bramble right here, and we can do Water Shield. I think that's the best case scenario. Let's go. Super defensive. We'll have a little bit of damage coming from Thorns. We'll see. 
I'm ignoring the corners. That's my bad. So four health isn't good. This guy's doing five damage. This might be GG. Unless I can do long shot. Damn. Long shot is here. Can't get to a bramble. Long shot turns into four. You're not doing damage. I have two shields, so I will survive. And this thing will have one HP. No, you're dead from hitting me. Sick. So we just have to deal with this dum dum. Um, shield up first, and then do a. Oh crap! I need a blue to do that. Before I hit him, I need to do my shield. There's no more blue. All right, let's just shield up. He's dead from the the spike anyway. Let's go. Why didn't he get hit with the spiky? Did he have a shield as well? Either way, we're going to kill him. Take a spark. That's what you get for Christmas, you mofo. All right, we did it. I thought we were dead for a second there. Act one as Gwen has been completed. Demo has been complete. Oh, so sad. So sad. You guys, not gonna lie, this game is sick. This game is absolutely sick. Hey, look at that. We got someone else we can try here. Siridwen. Siridwen? Siridwen? Yeah, well, you guys, you know how I'm feeling already. You know how I'm feeling. That's going to be our first look of Bewitch... Or, sorry, not Bewitched. Witching Stone is what it's called. I love these puzzle RPGs. For those of you who have been following me, I have said that many times, and I described it at the beginning of this stream as well, uh, the video as well. And the, the mechanic of having the badges changing the... Um, changing the spells, the way that they work, and also just the way that you gather the stones to give your spells mana and how you can combine it and do multicast and stuff like that. I really like where this game is going and I will guarantee you that this one is going on the wish list and it will be purchased whenever it comes out. It, it, it fits so many, it checks so many of the boxes that I'm looking for for a puzzle RPG roguelike and I'm not going to avoid it. We're going to try the game again in a separate session for the second character there and we'll see what she's all about so watch out for that let me know what you think about the game leave a like if you're enjoying the content and don't forget to subscribe as well i would really appreciate it that's what we got for witching stone and we'll be back with more soon yep